button. It's it's one minute past, and then you know, we'll just get things started. So hopefully everyone can see the slide deck I'm sharing. Uh, and as usual, uh, let me find the notes here. The notes are. Uh, Here, I'm going to put this on a chat window, so this will, will take notes here. But all right, so let's get things started. Pretty uh, uh, short list of agenda topics. Uh, just wanted to, I mean, I think we've been uh, working on this for a few months. I mean, when I say we, it's mostly been George. But um, I think we're getting there in terms of uh, getting the core team page updated. Um, I think it'll be good to get this thing sort of, uh, 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 you know, make this go live. Um, and I wanted to remind, I was thinking about doing a blog post about the core team anyways. Uh, I mean, we had a slight change in charter, which we haven't necessarily heavily publicized yet. So that I think that would be a good thing. And then uh, George and Ben, I, I don't think I've introduced you, the two of you to the, to the wider community yet uh, through a blog post. I, think there'll be a good opportunity to do all of that. So uh, so we'll go through that real quickly. And then I uh, created a, like a sample survey. I mean, somebody already took one. I, I assume it was Vinny or somebody else who was were taking a look at it. But I think we're somewhat close to that one as well. Uh, I think there were about seven or eight questions. And I thought of one more over the weekend that we could potentially add. Uh, so we'll go through that real quick. Uh, and I think. Back in January, I talked about uh, you know looking for ways to recognize some of our more regular contributors. Um, so I uh, you know, started with an issue and created an MR to create a like a sort of a badging program for top contributors. Uh, so just wanted to go um, uh, give you a quick preview of that and um, working on a couple of things that you'll probably see on the issue. Um, um, obviously, like trying to work with our marketing team to finalize the design for badging. Uh, and, uh, you know, I thought it'd be nice to have some fun, like a merchandise or swags to go along with, um, you know, just the badge to recognize the contributors. And uh, we'll talk about any other business topics. I had one listed there in terms of like the May uh, mm -hmm. core team meeting, but we can talk about other things as well. Um, anything else that uh, I sh we should add to the to the list of topics here, or everyone okay? Cool. Right yeah, then. If, oh, all right. So if that's the case, uh, George, I guess I can just turn things over to you. You can just give us a quick rundown of. Uh, I mean, I think people can see the MR and uh, see the work that's been going on for the past few months, but. Uh, George, if you want to give us a quick uh, uh, update yeah, sure. on what, yeah, yeah, what you've done so far, and you can even, I can even stop sharing, and if you want to show us like the preview of what the page is going to look like, can do that as well. Uh, yeah. Okay, I have to run the the measure, the middleman first, but uh, the <laughs> in overall, in uh, this will update the core team layout page and also mm -hmm. the alumni page. You can right. uh, see the merge request and uh, right. add any feedback if you want. Right. It uh, actually uses the same lay layout as the company team page layout. So I think it will improve the both pages. And uh, I think it's in good shape to match this and uh, improve uh, smaller bits later. Yeah, just taking notes here. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. I think we're at a stage where, I mean, it doesn't need to be perfect. Like we, this is, we're, I mean, we're supposed to be iterating. Uh, yes. I mean, I think uh, we uh, edited the text and then also I think we got some help to also improve the layout as well. Yes, the article also helped a bit here. Yeah, yeah. so uh, yeah, I mean, I think, uh, yeah, I think what I'll, do is I could probably ask like David to to merge this. Uh, I mean I can do that as well, but you know I, it's uh, you know it might make sense to just uh, have David just merge this and just go from there uh, and then get this get this done in the next couple of days. But Hannes or Remy, I don't know if you have any uh, feedback or concerns or 
There are also screenshots in the description, sorry, for interrupting, so we can uh, see the result. Mm. Uh, in the I'm description sorry. of the Magic Quest, there are oh, yeah. screenshots of the, the actual uh, result. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe we can, if we want to see it live uh, before we merge, we can, uh, I can push the branch to the canonical repo and right. so that we have a review up. Um, yeah, that, that looks good. Yeah, should we do that? So, uh, you want to run this uh, live or uh, you want to add something there, uh, uh, Remy? Um, yeah, I will. I will put the branch just so that we can see it uh, in your review app. Uh, ah, from, from the upstream, okay. Yeah, yeah but uh, yeah. the screenshots are uh, already. Uh, I can run this locally if you want, if, if I'm not checking. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah. Just so I can share my screen if you want. And uh, yeah, let me let me stop sharing so you can. Yeah. All right, go for it. Okay, let me see. I think I can share. Just waiting for the middleman to yep. start this. I think we should be seeing an empty tab right now, but yep. just waiting for the middleman to It's taking a while. Yeah. It's always, it's almost there. So okay. this will also use the same uh, YAML file for the team uh, members. And uh, I've, uh, I've added, uh, according to Yarek's uh, suggestion, another YAML file for the alumni, core team alumni members, just right. to not uh, to be make, have mixed content there. Uh, in regards of performance, I think that's okay. So. So. Should we come back to this while we're waiting, or is it almost done? It's, uh, it will take a, a minute or two. Maybe we can go on my array and come back this. Yeah, time. let's do that. I think it's so. Yeah, if you want to, like, stop sharing for yeah. for a few minutes. Okay. All right, cool, thanks.
And it's always hard trying to do a live demo. So, all right, so I gotta figure out. Okay, there we go. Cool, so, all right, we'll come back to that. And then uh, the other topic uh, that, or issue that Vinny raised, uh, I think was uh, before the core team meeting last month was, uh, you know, getting feedback from the first time contributors. And I think we worked uh, on like a seven or eight questions and let me open this, uh, created a sample survey that we can use. Um, so this is sort of, you know, what people will see. Um, so I think the first several questions are multiple choice, like, you know, how long did it take uh, to uh, set up a GDK? Um, you know, were you happy with the response time from any of the GitLab team members uh, after submitting an MR with the feedback, you know, useful? Uh, uh, were you able to help to get the help you needed? And then the rest of the questions are more open-ended. Uh, you know, what was the most difficult part? Uh, suggestions for improvement. And uh, number seven is, I mean, last question is basically, would you would you do this again? And the other question that I thought of adding uh, after number six probably is, uh, you know, I wanted to get a feel for why they uh, wanted to contribute to GitLab in the first place. Uh, I'll make that open that ended as well. I thought about making them multiple choice, but I, I think the list will get uh, really long. Uh, so I think we can just op make it open ended, and then if we see a trend, uh, we can turn that into multiple choice as well. Uh, but that's sort of um, uh, you know it's pretty quick and simple. Uh, I mean I've I've used Survey Monkey in the past and. Uh, I mean, it's, it's pretty nice, and even in terms of reporting, it, it uh, charts our graphs for multiple choice type of questions and uh, also allows you to uh, uh, export reports into a spreadsheet uh, like a Google Sheet. So it's, uh, it makes the management uh, pretty simple. Uh, so uh, not sure if you, I mean, um, feel free to even take the survey if you want to. I think I, I'll be able to uh, delete any of the responses uh, that I get as, as part of the test. Uh, but that's sort of what the survey looks like. And I uh, just wanted to see, uh, you know, if you guys had any other questions or, or thoughts. Uh, or wait a second. I'm not even sharing right now. Sorry about that. But... Uh, so yeah, sorry. So I guess you didn't necessarily see the questions that are that are listed here and then what the format looks like. But um, any questions or thoughts on this? And I think I mentioned this uh, last time. I I send out an email to people who contribute for the first time uh, to offer them our our you know uh, mug with the hashtag that says my first MR merged. Uh, and it's been kind of fun um, uh, seeing people kind of tweet that on the on the Twitter. Uh, so uh, I'm pleasantly surprised the number of people who who've done that. Uh, you know, when I ask them to do it over email, uh, when I send that email out once a month, I I could definitely uh, add a link to the survey and just you know make it clear that it's voluntary. But you know, look to get. Uh, people's feedback on their experience when they contributed for the first time, and you know it will be anonymous. I want to keep it anonymous so the responses will be honest. Um, but uh, just want to see if you guys have any thoughts or questions. Um, I I mean definitely want to keep it pretty short. I don't I don't want this to be like intrusive. If the survey is like asking twenty questions, like nobody will take them. Uh, so I definitely want to keep it under like you know, eight or nine questions. Um, but, um, yeah, I think that that's super cool. Um, yeah, seven questions is... Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll see what the response rates are. I mean, typically, the last couple of months, the first time contributor has been anywhere between like 30 to 50 people. Um, so, uh, you know, even if like the response rate is like 15, 20%, we might get some decent sense in the, in the next couple of months, but. 
yeah, I, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, one question that I think might be interesting would probably be uh, were you satisfied with the uh, uh, response time for your uh, MR? Yeah, so I had that. Yeah, sorry, I, I scrolled through this one when I was ah, not okay. sharing. But uh, yeah, that was um, like mm -hmm. number two. Uh, were you happy with the response time from, from GitLab team members? Um, ah, perfect. Yep. But yeah, I mean, like I said, feel free to like a click on the survey link. And if you want to actually test the survey by taking the survey, I mean, that's completely fine. Uh, I'll probably just, you know, what are, I think I already, I think I mentioned, I already got like, I'm guessing it was Vinny who already like respond, like, you know, he, he submitted the survey response. Uh, but I mean, feel free to do that. You're not going to hurt anything. So. Yeah. I just submitted it. Cool. All right. Thanks. Cool. Okay, so uh, it sounds like uh, people are pretty much in agreement. I mean, I'll I won't send this out just I mean just just now. Uh, I probably won't be reaching out to the first time contributors from eleven point eight until probably next week or so, anyways. Um, but if you have any questions in the meantime between now and like maybe end of the week, feel free to let me know. Cool. Okay. So, all right, George, are you ready or? Yes, we can. Uh, oh, okay, cool. All right, let me go back and let me stop sharing now. I think I can. So, I think you can see the screen now. Yep. So, this is the new core team layout, the page layout. So, right. it includes a uh, header page and uh, header section where it's uh, and also some uh, two paragraphs uh, below. Right. The core team members, uh, I've used some partial data, uh, Remy, if you remember, I asked you about this to just uh, use only some partial data on your profiles and your and the winnies. Yeah, right. yeah, it looks so nice. Th that's it, more or less. Uh, I think it will improve the overall uh, layout, and uh, I also have the alumni the core team alumni page which includes the past members and also the section that uh, mentions that past team members that are uh, now employees some of the some of them i've also used the same partial uh, template for the, those two so cool yeah i think it looks, looks that's it looks if you want nice. to take yeah. another look uh, and add any feedback or move this uh, forward this to David and merge. Yeah. Yep, that works for me. Uh, I mean, for people that are on the call right now, uh, it's like, I mean, I'd like to be, you know, people to be able to sort of get a preview of the page as well. Uh, okay before it gets merged and then we'll maybe we'll just you know ask David to merge it by the end of the week if there is no other feedback but uh, yeah that might be a good thing to do like Remy was suggesting just uh, allow people to review it through the review app so all right yeah, I just have a question about the the alumni page. Um, I see that we are changing the the path. Um, I just want to make sure that uh, the the old path redirects to the new path. Ah, the, you mean the URL path? Eh? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think it will if uh, I can try this going back. No, no. Alumni. I think it will redirect. Right. Ah, so it uses the same part. Okay. I'm not sure about if this is supposed to rewrite the URL. Eh? If you type slash community, it should go to slash core team slash alumni. Yeah, I think it should. So or, I think it just. Um, no, so we should probably uh, like make a redirect from uh, community slash alumni 
so the slash. Slash. yeah yes i think got in slash mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, similar to how we do it for just the slash alumni page indeed and the core team i think redirects there yes core team redirects to slash community slash core team mm -hmm. so it should work the same way so if you can uh, pin a point where this um, i think the redirect uh, i mean works i mean yes this will go to here eventually yeah cool good okay cool yeah i just Edit a note there, make sure that redirect works. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. okay. I can stop sharing uh, array if you want to go more. Yeah, on. yeah, cool. Yeah. Thanks. Cool. Looks good. Let me actually share this time. There we go. Hit the share button. Cool. All right. So it looks good. I think we're ready to move on on both of those items. Um, so uh, the last major topic is uh, you know recognizing top contributors. I mean, in terms of I mean code contributions. Obviously, there are other ways to contribute to GitLab, but uh, specifically for the uh, people that have been making uh, regular code contributions, I wanted to. Uh, figure out a way to sort of recognize uh, these people so you see the relevant issue there and then I'll uh, I think I'll just go to the, the preview page for the page that I'm working on I mean, it's still pretty rough um, working with the marketing team as you'll see on the issue to uh, get the banner going and also uh, develop some sort of a badge or icon for each of the categories um, so, I mean, starting with 2018, I uh, just wanted to uh, recognize what I think are more regular contributors in terms of code. Uh, so you'll see, uh, I mean, I'm, I don't mean this to be a ranking, but uh, I wanted to have a grouping of people in like three tiers. Uh, I mean, we, I, David and I initially talked about gold, silver, and bronze, like lucky like doing sports or Olympics, but then we realize that might confuse people in terms of our like a product tiering. Uh, so we've been experimenting with different terminology, like the top category is master, then you have expert, and then you have like advanced. Uh, I was at, at a scale conference in LA over the weekend and uh, I was attended a session that was run by somebody responsible for opensource.com and and they have a lot more like they probably have like 10 different tiers so the other I mean terms they use are like a superstars or stars um, so uh, well we'll probably try to finalize the terminology but this is sort of like a 30 or 40 people that uh, that I sort of wanted to recognize in terms of making contributions uh, I mean obviously near the top like uh, Vitaly and George, uh, you did an insane amount of uh, have merged MRs. Uh, but I mean, there are lots of other people here that a lot of names that you recognize that are that have been making like a regular contributions. And I think I mentioned like a number, of, like a number of MR, like in terms like number five as, as sort of uh, as sort of a uh, you know uh, a threshold for for. Uh, for the advanced here, because uh, thinking that I mean this requires people to make at least uh, at least have one like merge MRs like every other month, uh, roughly speaking. So I thought that was sort of a reasonable place to start. Um, so that's sort of uh, I mean what I wanted to share with you. And the other stats that you'll see here is I mean the number of people that have made contributions last year was you know over 400. And the total number of MRs, emerge MRs, were you know 1,464. So uh, I mean, a pretty high number of contributions. Uh, but this is one of the like the things that I, I hopefully we can um, uh, uh, launch uh, in the next couple of weeks. Uh, but it's been starting to do some background work over the last uh, last couple of weeks. Uh, but just wanted to share that with uh, all of you and, and get your take on it.
George, it looked like you're about to say something, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're right. Uh, does this include the uh, contributions to only the GitLab C project, or, uh, or no? Uh, this is uh, that's a good question. I should I should be pretty specific. Uh, so let me look at my dashboard. So it includes C E E E Omnibus uh, G D K uh, mm -hmm. and Runner and I don't know why I'm blanking out. So give me a second here. Uh, give me a second. So EECE Omnibus Runner uh, uh, GDK Pages and Shell. Um, that's sort of the, the projects that I've been tracking. Uh, I should probably, I could probably include more, but that's sort of uh, so it goes beyond CE and EE. But if you look at the numbers, uh, you know, obviously C E N E is gonna be much larger than some of the other projects that I that I mentioned. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I mean, the other, like, I mean, speaking of projects, the other app that I've noticed recently that I would, or I've been seeing more community contribution is actually Gitter. Uh, and I think, George, you, you've had a number of contributions there, too. And then, I mean, interesting thing is, like, Gitter, I mean, they don't follow, like, our, our traditional milestones that we have at GitLab. Uh, so the slicing of data for, for Gitter is a little bit more challenging. But uh, I, I mean, I need to talk to Eric at some point, but I definitely noticed a jump or bump in that project over the last, last three or four weeks, which, which is interesting. So. Cool. I mean, what do you guys think of these like a terminology or, or categories like master expert in advance? Does that seem reasonable to you guys or do you think that's horrible? Like I, I, you know, yeah, yeah. If we didn't have the product category gold, silver, and, and bronze, I think that would have been a good thing to go with. But go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I, I I'm reading uh, the discussion in the in the issue. Uh, yeah, I see that we have some some other suggestion from uh, Marcel. Right. And I'm not a fan of um, master expert and advanced. Uh, okay. I think we can uh, we can probably have uh, something. I don't know. I I have a. I I'm not sure. I uh, I see the difference between uh, the three levels. Uh, we could okay. uh, at first sight at least. Mm -hmm. We could uh, omit them altogether, or maybe just list the contributors. I'm not sure. Maybe that's. Yeah. But I mean, so it, if, if, I mean, the challenge is like, we want to badge these like a group of people, right? I mean, mm -hmm. rather than just having one. So, I mean, I'm looking at the issue here. So, uh, I mean, obviously the difference between super and star and star is like pretty clear, I think. I don't know if you notice mm -hmm. the difference with like an enthusiast, for example. Um, yeah, so when I saw that presentation from the opensource.com person, I, I was drawn to superstar versus star, uh, but, uh, Remy, I can see what you're saying, like master versus expert, like it's it's not necessarily yeah. clear which level is higher, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, so, I mean, enthusiasts, like that's sort of the level you get before you become a sports star, I guess. But, you know, maybe that makes more a little bit more logical sense. But yeah, I mean, that's a good feedback. But Yeah, I, I would try to... Uh... To give uh, uh, to give suge suggestion in, in the issue, uh, right? Okay, yeah, that'll be great. Okay. So, yeah, I'm trying to like uh, close this pretty quickly because I mean, as you saw, like a comment from, uh, I mean, I, I guess it's not this specific issue. I opened a separate marketing issue uh, with uh, Yarek and and also Luke uh, to create the badging and the preferences yeah. to have our terminology nailed down pretty quickly. So. Which I completely understand. So. Uh, in, in that case, I think uh, going with superstar, star, and enthusiast would be better than expert and master at the moment. Okay. Uh, 
I'll need to think uh, about if if I can come up with something better than that. About mm -hmm. uh, I think if 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 you need to merge it quickly, then that's better than master expert advanced. Okay. Okay. Good. Good feedback. Yeah, I mean, we don't have to like, you know, uh, I mean, we can also like obviously like iterate next year, um, but that doesn't mean we we need to. We can do a sloppy job just from the get go. But. Yeah, I mean, you, you if you link on this like open source dot com page, there's uh, they have, I mean, they have like I swear like about a dozen different levels uh, I think that's a bit much but uh, uh, but yeah that's how they do it but I mean they've been very successful right they I mean the interesting thing about open source dot com that I didn't realize was that this is just all honorary thing you don't even get a t-shirt or any swags uh, at the end of this um, I mean obviously they are dealing with a lot bigger volume of people but um, but despite that, it's been very successful, uh, which is pretty impressive. So it's it's all about uh, you know reputation in the community. Oh. Cool. Thanks for appreciate the feedback. So I guess there's a slight preference for for this option versus you know what I have on the on the web page, which is fine. Cool. Yeah, I mean, so hopefully this is, um, you know, obviously we, you know, we've had a core team for, for a long time, but I mean, this is another way of sort of, re, you know, widening the reach of people that we recognize uh, for good contributions they made, made to the community and GitLab. Yeah. Cool. And then, yeah, the, the threshold is sort of, I mean, somewhat, you know, arbitrary, uh, but I mean, I thought these were like a reasonable starting point. Um, so that's sort of the threshold for different levels there. Cool. Anything else or ready to move on? Cool. Okay, on the last slide, I mean, the only item that I, ha uh, I had, I was kind of looking ahead for the next couple of months and they realized our May core team meeting coincides with Contribute in New Orleans. And I think, uh, um, all four of us on the call today will be there. Uh, and then I think the only core team members that are not going to be able to make it are Jacopo and, and Vitali. Um, so, you know, if it's okay, everybody, we could probably just cancel the call that, that month and then, you know, resume in June if there are no objections. Um, yeah, offense yeah. was it. Yeah, no, uh, that's fine. Uh, just. Cool. Uh, just uh, to note that I won't be there actually. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. So, uh, yeah. Is this the first like a summit or contribute you're missing, Remy? Or like, yes, yeah. Okay, that's too bad. But uh, yeah, it turned out like I uh, like I was talking to a number of other GitLab team members. There are several of them who who can't make it for various reasons. But I mean, I, it does happen. Cool. Okay. Uh, any other topics or anything else that we want to discuss? We've got about 10 minutes left. Uh, and I can give a quick update about the uh, uh, Slack access for core team members. Uh, yes. So, I mean, the tickets with the infrastructure team, um, so they just need to implement uh, what we have on, on the handbook update MR. Uh, so it's been pushed out another, like, I mean, they work through these sprints and um, I mean, I understand they have a lot of things to do, but hopefully, uh, I mean, you can see it on the issue um, that, that's been pushed out. Uh, again, but hopefully it'll be done by like a 23rd of this month, but that's sort of where things stand. So. And let me try to find the issue. All right. Um, I, I think we agreed on a solution that 
treats pretty much everybody the same. It doesn't matter if it's a core team member or a GitLab employee. If he doesn't need access to the information, then he isn't invited in the channel and can't join it. Right. Uh, so I think that's a better solution versus just uh, preventing the core team from accessing some some channels. Right. So yeah, I, and then uh, you probably saw on the handbook update MR that I created uh, for for Slack access, access uh, and. SID has already like approved it. I mean, that's actually been like probably about a month ago. Um, so, and then nobody else has chimed in, I don't believe. Um, so in terms of policy, I don't think there's any disagreement. So I think we're good to go. I think it just needs to be implemented technically, but, uh, and I'll finally found the issue. So Hannes, like here's, here's the issue on, the, on, on their infrastructure. Uh, you know, feel free to chime in and ask when if this this will actually be implemented at, at this sprint time frame. If you want to do that, yeah, I mean, huh. I think we can even merge the uh, the handbook, the handbook. Right now, yeah. Uh, yeah, because in the end, the technical side is just uh, making sure that everybody follows the handbook. Okay. Uh, it's not right. enabling something which just okay yeah i mean i guess we could do that I, actually takuya actually asked the same question and my you know reply to him was that well i'm actually trying to wait until it were, it's closer to implementation but i guess there's no harm in uh merging the handbook um so then i can definitely uh, ask david to do that since it's we already have a thumbs up from sid Now, let me give myself an action item. Okay. Anything else? Like, it looks like we're good. Well, George, thanks for all the work on uh, on the core team and alumni pages. And uh, thank you for all the feedback. Cool. All right. All right. Uh, have a good day in Europe. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Great. Right. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Have a good day.